Good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful spring day here. The perfect day to continue on building our off-grid bathroom for the geodesic dome. Welcome to episode 18 of the <laughs> outhouse build. It has been such a saga getting here. I don't even know. It has grown and adapted and this is a this is a record even for us. But let's back up for a second. We're Tyler and Todd, and two years ago, after living full-time on the road, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest. Since then, we've been hard at work building a sustainable homestead that will meet all of our needs, from shelter to water, food, and even our electricity. We bring you along every Sunday for a new episode as we build this lifelong dream together. Consider subscribing, it really helps, but most importantly, enjoy the video and come along. So if you caught last week's video, you know that we did the framing, we did the vapor barrier, the spray foam, we did the double bubble reflectix. Todd did an amazing, beautiful job on this pine ceiling. Love how that turned out. Yeah, it turned out really nice and very light. I'm very happy with the stain color. Good job on that one. Thanks. But now it's time to continue on. We don't quite have like necessarily an exact layout that, in mind because this project has changed so many times, but I think we're just gonna go with it and see where we get. Yes, once again, you have given us many, many suggestions on what we should be doing here. You gotta stop giving all the suggestions. Yeah, so now- We're never gonna get this finished. Now we're like, should we put a shower in? And then we're like, what about the plumbing and the electrical? A lot of great tips, but I promise you by the end of this video, it will all make sense. Yeah, so let's get started. Let's do it. Wrong, real, real wrong. Here, wait, let me see that. Is that the piece? That's the piece. Oh, I was gonna say, you <laughs> shoot the bed back. Last piece. Last piece. So exciting. It looks really, really good. Yeah, you did it perfectly. I measured okay? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, look how nice this is. It looks really good in there. Just look at that. And then the ceiling. It's going to be nice. Yeah. So a really big question we were asked last week is why didn't we preemptively cut the hole in the floor for where the toilet's going to go? So you may remember a few weeks ago, we did all of the work of excavating this area, putting in the helical piles that the shipping container sits on. And of course, lining up the hole perfectly so all of the business goes down into the privy pit is really important. But we decided we wanted to put the insulated subfloor down as well as the flooring on top before we got to that point. Um, just because cutting around holes is a lot of work. So yeah. now that that's in, we can perfectly put the hole in. Exactly. So let's get this piece in and then we're gonna figure out how to install some wall paneling. I've never done that before. No. We'll figure it out. This is so easy and it makes me very excited. What do you think? It looks good. I think it looks really good. Um, you're finding it easy though? Yeah, like so much easier than what drywall would be. Oh yeah. Drywall is so hard. It's a true art form. I'm very excited you guys. Holy fuck, it's so nice. Now I'm standing here hungry and I'm ready for action. So let me tell you I'm ready to jump right back in, back in. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. It's 
So we are learning a very important lesson on the benefits of not cheaping out on your nails for your nail gun. Um, we bought discount sort of no-name nails and the gun keeps clogging. I also think you overfilled it. Did you, you have to have it here pushing them through. You can't have them past this. Oh, well. I guess you can't cheap out on the labor. <laughs> <laughs> Can we continue blaming the nails? <laughs> I'm doing a pretty good job, I think. Working oh, again. Working again? Yeah. Mr. Fix It. <laughs> you go. Thank you. <laughs> There's your extra nails. I'll try and not clog it again. <laughs> I am making really good progress with this, though. Got almost one whole wall done. It looks good. Yeah. It's gonna be nice and bright in here. I was a little bit worried because the window is east facing, so I was kind of nervous, like, not getting a lot of direct sun through the day, but we'll be good. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna continue on with this, and yeah, I'm feeling really confident. Yeah. Are you oh! <gasps> I think I'm in trouble, you guys. <laughs> oh, are you grabbing some paper towel? Do you need help? Hmm. I'll put you right here, I suppose. Luckily, the building's level and it's not going anywhere. Okay, that's good. Where's your sippy cup? Yeah, I really need it, hey? You know what? Silver lining. Waterproof floor is down. Imagine if this happened when the subfloor happened. Yes. Then we'd be in for a real pickle. Come here. Smile. Crisis averted. So how do we do this? How high? Because we got to be able to go in and around, right? Yeah, but we're leaving, um, we're doing crown molding. Like that's a little extreme, like eight inch crown molding. You're getting so carried away with this building, it makes me scared for the house. Oh, <laughs> you should be scared. <laughs> Two and a half or three inch crown. Perfect. Then... Tyler, that won't look good either. Why won't it look good? Crown molding? Why wouldn't crown molding look good? What's wrong with it? Tell me why. Pitch me why crown molding won't look good. It's an outhouse! Like, I want to save for retirement at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna retire in this shit house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep feeding me bored. So I wouldn't say that this is overly complicated. We've run into a few snags and hiccups along the way. So we got this wall done and then this wall almost finished, but we have to um, kind of do different walls at different times. And the reason for that is if you can see all of this trim along here, we have to box it in so it's even on both sides. Do you know a better way of explaining We're it? We're trying to line the grooves up. So we have to yeah. like fill it in and then we want it to be consistent as to these walls are longer and then the ends are kind of tucked in, if that makes any sense. So we've gotten as far as we can here, but now we need to build up this side so that we can do above the door because we have to cut out the door and window opening. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> That's what we're doing though. <laughs> That's the best that we can figure anyway. Like. Yeah, because we can't continue on up there. Like, the trim piece won't work, so... Do you know what would have been easier for the same look? What? You know that paneling that you can get for stores that you can put, like, sh like the hooks on and have, like, t-shirts hanging and stuff? We could have just run that around. Board and batten? No, you know what I'm talking about. Like, at Winners or Marshalls, where they have, like, t-shirts on a wall for sale with racks, and it's, like, metal things that clip into it. Oh. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get back to it. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep trimming this out and getting it done.
in true Tyler and Todd fashion, we have to make an unplanned trip to the hardware store. Nothing that we did, what happened was the package of shiplap that we ordered, one piece came out wrong and it's a baseboard so it doesn't have the tongue and groove profile that allows us to interlock the pieces. So we have to go get one piece of that. And crown molding. And we're doing crown molding. <laughs> Plus we do have some scraps of the shiplap. So we're gonna like rip them down and put them here. So we're gonna get a little piece of like corner trim to go around the window and the door. Just so. to really like finish it off. But look yeah. how just amazing this space is. It's so bright and I'm really happy. Yeah. It's a lot of work though. Like we've been doing this for eight hours. It's 5.41 PM. All right, let's go in and get the stuff that we need. We'll pick up some dinner. <laughs> Gotta make a turnaround spot for Dome Drive. I know. I just ruined the vibe down there though. Wow. You know I want you, even though I'm coming apart. Even when I'm running away from it. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, that crumb one is really nice. Yeah. You like that one? Way more simple too. Okay, let's do this one. We managed to get everything we needed without having to go into the city, which is really nice. Yeah. Home hardware, locally. It's a smaller hardware store, but it's nice. It's got what you need. They had crown molding even, which we didn't think they would, so. We'll have to settle on the Alexa and all the fancy gadgets that Todd wants for That's like time. a future project, I guess. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. <laughs> okay, we are gonna go throw this in the truck and grab a bite to eat, and we'll see you soon. We've been back for a little while and the good news is I think we have everything that we need for the outhouse. However, the bad news is on the drive we realized just how tired we're starting to feel. So we made the decision that we're going to put pause on construction for tonight and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. Instead, we're going to switch gears and get to work on planning out our vegetable garden because the sooner we can get it planted, the better the harvest is going to be in the fall. We've been talking and it's kind of crazy to believe that it's our third summer living here at the land. And as the projects have grown in complexity, so has our need to stay organized. Right now it's just in our head or the literally 2000 notes on our phone, which just is not working. So to stay better organized, we picked up a paper tablet called the Remarkable 2, which has completely changed our workflow process. And we loved it so much that we reached out to them and Remarkable agreed to sponsor today's video. The Remarkable 2 is the world's thinnest tablet. It's the only paper tablet in the world that feels just like paper and let me tell you it really does the way that the stylus interacts with the screen it really feels like you're writing with a pen on paper we love the fact that we can just easily write our notes we can make our shopping list or we can even sketch out our designs for what we have envisioned in our head and share it we love that it's not backlit like a traditional tablet because it gives you more of that writing in a notebook feeling without adding unnecessary eye strain hands down my favorite feature is the fact that whatever we're working on is automatically uploaded to the cloud. So for us, we use Google Drive, which means we've been able to seamlessly move PDFs over for signature. As we're taking notes, the other person can see it in real time on their computer. It's honestly been a complete game changer in how we stay organized in our workflow process. But on top of all of that, it has a two week battery life. That means we don't have to worry about it dying midway through us taking notes or sketching out a diagram. If you wanna find out more about how the Remarkable 2 can help you stay organized, make sure you use the link in our description box down below. But for now, I'm gonna go help Tyler unload the car and get to planting. Time to start planting? Yeah. Nice. What are we gonna throw in the ground today? We're gonna do a couple things. So we've got spinach, we've got lettuce, different type of lettuce, butter crunch, don't know what that's about, and Swiss chard. I really, I always struggle saying this. <laughs> Swiss chard. You did great. Swiss chard. All right, so. Where I was thinking of putting them was these rows here, splitting them one on either side of the slug trap. Sure. Like right, just right there? Yeah. Do you want to show them how well everything is doing? Sure. So our red onion beds are slowly starting to come in. What is he doing? What are you doing? Hey, no, you're not, you're not allowed to go on top of the beds. I'll come probably two. Come here. So the red onion ones are starting to pop up, which is really nice, but Look at the rhubarb, how well that's doing, as well as the strawberries. Yeah. 
it's really all fun. taking over. The strawberries have really spread. This is now our third summer here. And look at them. They're starting to take over, which is exciting. Gonna be a lot of smoothies. <laughs> or ice cream. We can make strawberry ice cream. Ooh, that'd be that'd good. Be cool. All right, let's get these in the ground. Okay, let's do it. I hope we get lots of it. Yeah. Lettuce is so expensive right now. So that's why I want to just keep planting a bunch. And I was thinking about it. There's space down at the dome mm -hmm. where I think we'll be able to grow some um, in the summer heat because it'll be a bit cooler. We can put it in planters. We can definitely try. Yeah. It feels so amazing to have all of that in the ground. According to the package, it says 82 days and we're gonna have lots of fresh veggies, which is super exciting. And it's gonna be so delicious. It tastes so much better than if you got it at like a grocery store or something. It just feels really good too, to be growing your own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? Is the gravel that comfortable? <laughs> Someone wants us to go in and snuggle. Yeah, maybe we should try. We're trying this new thing where we have balance in our life. Tyler thinks I work too much, so it's going to be... <laughs> do you think he works too much? Because I do. Yeah, so okay. let's go in. We've done enough today. Let's go watch some TV. Yeah, we um, started this new show called Heartstopper. That's what yeah, it's called, on right? Netflix. Yeah. yeah. You have to watch it. It's so good. We're halfway through, and it's like one of the best shows I've ever watched. It, I cry every episode. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. It's just very amazing to see our like our community story told in such an authentic way yeah. and yeah, it's just a really good show. Yeah. But anyway, we were planning on doing this, but they're all in their little planters, so they'll survive. Let's just exactly. go in and chill and have a nice relaxing night. Does that sound good, buddy? Does that sound good? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. We had a really, really nice night last night. It was great to just relax a little bit. Um, after spending the last few hours watching YouTube videos on how to <laughs> install the crown molding in here, we're very grateful that we didn't attempt it last night. It just would have ended in frustration. Oh yeah, because it's very confusing because it's upside down and backwards and we've never done it before. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with like the baseboards and the doors and the windows and work our way up to the crown molding. That way we get time to boost our confidence. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah. We just foamed the window here. So, made a little bit of a mess. Per usual. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well we've got all of the supplies and pieces ready, so. I think we're just gonna wing it and see where we get. I love that. We've gotten pretty far by winging it and seeing where we get, so. All right, let's start by cutting out the door and the window. Let's do it. You ready for a good day? I'm ready for a good day. Me too. Loving you is gonna do me harm. But I don't give up. All right, a little crooked, but as to the beach vibe, you know, that's the wave. What do we say about measuring twice, cutting one? Practice ain't perfect. Well, started off a little rough here, but got better down here. I think it looks great. <laughs> yeah. So what's the plan? How are we going to frame this in? <sighs> well, step one's done. Next is, I think we're going to take some of the shiplap and rip it down to be smaller to build kind of like a frame around. And then we've got quarter pieces or um, corner pieces to go around. So fingers crossed that works. The only thing I'm a little nervous for is this gap that we left over here. Look okay. at this one here, like once we cut this back, we'll see. Like this part here, we're gonna have to paint and leave metal, but that's okay. Am I covered in dust? Covered. <laughs> I feel like I got down my shirt. It feels like I just got a haircut. Mm. And those little spikies. All those little spiky spikies? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's um. We gotta cut back this insulation. Let's let it harden a little bit. Let's start on the door. Okay. And then work our way over. 
Or we could do this piece. Yeah, let's let's tack this up. Let's. 74. That's all mm -hmm. it is. 74, yeah. Or okay. 73 and four quarters. Pretty slick. Now let's see if it fits. <laughs> oh. Yep, yeah, it'll fit. Thanks. We just gotta let that dry. All right, well, we can come back to here. Okay. Let's move on to the window. 38 and one quarter. Okay. <laughs> Loving you is gonna do me hard. It's a big day. It's a big day. It's a big step in our relationship. <laughs> Is this long enough? Oh yeah. Huh. How do we do? I don't know. Can you imagine we got this on the first try? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's close though. No. Clearly we have not figured out how to install crown molding correctly, so we're gonna figure that out and get back to you. All right, so we have been practicing on how to cut crown molding. It's our first time ever doing this and- It is really... a mind melt. Oh yeah, it's very hard. So what we're gonna do now, I think we've got it figured out. So we're gonna start on this wall and hopefully work our way around, but we already have to add a piece of crown molding to the shopping list because we've used an entire piece to get this far. Yeah, yeah, it was a smart decision that we waited, so. All right, I'm gonna set you down and we're gonna get to cutting. those miscuts with the crown molding there it means that I have to run to the hardware store and get a few other pieces. It just started to rain, which kind of sucks. So Todd's going to quickly clean up. I'm going to get this. Hopefully we're going to finish. So Ty just left to go to the hardware store. What I'm going to work on while he's gone is I have to go around and fill every single hole Oh my god, I was just thinking how many holes there are in this. Okay, so we gotta go around, fill all of them in with some wood fill so that it's a nice smooth surface for us to paint. But before I do that, I'm gonna sweep the room and put our floor protector down. That way we don't ruin it when we paint or as we're working in here. So I'm gonna set you down, give it a quick sweep, and then put some paper down. All right, you guys, so here's where we're at. It is a few hours later, and I'm very happy to say that all of the crown molding is finished, as well as all of the trim pieces. It looks so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, are you uh, proud? Yeah, looks good. I mean, you can see a few imperfections, like here at the ceiling and stuff, but I think overall, we're not having any clue what we were doing. Yeah, I think we did really, really well. Yeah. So now, you might notice, there are hundreds of these little holes all around the room. And what we're gonna do is sand all of the rough little edges off and then I'm gonna do that while Todd goes in with wood fill right here. So has to fill every single one of those holes. 
It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be very time consuming, but it is a really important task that you need to be kind of meticulous on because it's the final product, right? Like we didn't spend two days doing this for nothing. Like exactly. we're gonna really put in the hours to make sure it looks immaculate. Yeah. But we're tired. Yeah. Be lying if we said we're not. Been a long <laughs> couple of days, but we're on the home stretch. Couple of days? Think about this whole project. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's get to it, friend. Yeah. We got this. So if you listen closely, you can probably hear Todd belting his heart out to Casey Musgraves. Pretty cute, but it's also two in the morning and I am absolutely exhausted. I think everyone in here is too. What do you think, bud? Hey? Hey, buddy, I'm sorry. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Hey? And then we got little Nugget, curled up by the fire. Hey, you old ham. It is an absolute bomb in here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, our lovely kitchen table. Craziness. Um, honestly, you guys, I think I'm just gonna make us some instant noodles and go to bed. Been a long one. Oh hey, you want to say hey to everyone? We got everyone here tonight. Hey bud. All right. Well, we're gonna catch you in the morning, and hopefully we have the paint done by then, and we can continue on. See you in the morning. Good morning. Hey. What's good in here? You're chipper. Yeah, it's the overexhaustion, I think. <laughs> yeah, delirium. Yeah. I have the second coat on and I'm just finishing up a couple spots because listen, we're not doing a third coat. It's not happening. No, it's looking so, so good in here though. Yeah, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. Um, I don't know, I just picture this ending differently. Yeah, Tyler was really hoping to be like, on the toilet and a drone shot flies out the door and pans off something beautiful in cinematography you know <laughs> that wasn't quite my vision but i don't know i'm just a little bit embarrassed that we're going to be posting yet again another outhouse build video but, but... it's going to be our dream outhouse yeah you know? good things take time exactly so anyway we are going to reconvene figure out exactly what we're doing for the plumbing and the electrical and I think we'll see Installing you Installing a furnace. Yeah. There's a lot to do. Yeah. We need to figure it out. So, we will see you next Sunday. Have a great week, guys.